a solar collector, which is either a flat plate or a set of vacuum tubes, generates heat from the sun. The heat is then transferred into the geyser either by natural convection or by means of a circulation pump. In a thermosiphon configuration, the heat will rise naturally from the collector into the geyser. This is the most efficient way to install a solar geyser and is achieved by installing the geyser higher than the collector, usually on top of the roof. Often the geyser is installed inside the roof and below the collector to protect the aesthetics of the property. In this instance, the heat is forced down into the geyser by means of a circulation pump. A solar geyser can either be direct or indirect. In a direct system, potable water is heated inside the collector. The same water will be stored inside the geyser and later used inside the household. In an indirect system, water is heated through a heat exchanger or double jacket. The collector is usually filled with an antifreeze liquid called glycol. This is to ensure that the collector is protected from freezing temperatures or hard water conditions.